Aid man. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our Father, our God, we thank you. We glorify and magnify your holy name for another beautiful day. And we thank you so much. We appreciate you. We glorify your mighty name for everything that pertains to our lives. We glorify your mighty name for your protection, for our going out and coming in safely, sleeping safely, waking up safely, doing things safely. We glorify your mighty name. We thank you so much for your blessings. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your favor. Daddy, we thank you. We glorify your mighty name. We return the glory, the honor, and adoration to you. The lion in the tribe of Judah, we say thank you. Everlasting Father, we magnify your holy name. Shekinah glory, we thank you. Jehovah Sekino, we thank you. El Shaddai, we say thank you. We lift up your name. We glorify your mighty name. We bless your name, Father. That is, we say thank you. From depth of our heart, we say thank you. We glorify your mighty name. We glorify your mighty name. We glorify your mighty name. The Lord of Lord, King of King, El Shaddai, I am that I am. We say thank you. We magnify your holy name. Thank you so much, Father. We appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Hallelujah. My name is G.A. David from Richmond Hill, Canada. I'm here by the special grace of God. I'm here again to share with you the word of God. The Bible says the word of, you know, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation to anyone that believes. Amen. This is the word. Good news. This is the word, the good news, the word that blesses, that heals, that delivers. Hallelujah. I pray for you as you are hearing the sound of my voice. Everything that pertains to your life, anything that you need to fulfill your destiny shall be released unto you now in the name of Jesus. I release power, grace, anointing to be strong and to do exploits in all area of your endeavor and release it upon you in the name of Jesus. Take it and rise and shine in Jesus' name. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation to anyone that believes. Amen. I'm here to bless you with the word of God to deliver you, to heal you, to set you free from every, any satanic captivity and oppression. We are here on the face of the earth to fulfill our destiny. An enemy has never, you know, relented. He has never slept. He walks about like a roaring lion seeking a womb to devour. That's why the Bible says, be sober, be vigilant. For your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking a womb to devour. And I pray you will not be devoured in the name of Jesus. The power of God is upon you. And anything that pertains to your life shall not be stolen by the enemy in the name of Jesus. Anything that pertains to your life shall not be stolen in the name of Jesus. Enemy will not steal your glory. Enemy will not devour you. You will not go astray. Anything that pertains to your life shall remain steadfast, and you shall be strong and do exploit in the name of Jesus. It is well in Jesus' name. On the face of the earth, we are here to fulfill our destiny. Amen. When we are talking of destiny, destiny requires something before it can be fulfilled. 
destiny requires some steps to be taken before it can be fulfilled. Destiny requires some procedure, mechanism, before it can be fulfilled. Amen. God sent us to this world. He created us to worship Him, to have fellowship with Him, and to take dominion. And He sent us for this, to this world for a purpose, for a reason. That is to fulfill our destiny. Hallelujah. Some people ignorantly, unknowingly, by one way or the other, they have allowed enemy to chatter their destiny. They have allowed enemy to steal their glory. They have allowed enemy to steal, you know, the, 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 their purpose. The, 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 the purpose of God for them on the face of the earth. Trust me, if you are not careful, vigilant, enemy is walking, you know, walking around to steal, to kill, to destroy. That's why the Bible says, Steve, comment only to, to kill, to steal, to destroy. But thank God for, the life, for our Lord Jesus Christ, that have come to give us life, even in abundance. Amen. What am I saying in essence today? Divine visit, divine manifestation. I titled today's message, by the special grace of God, divine manifestation. You need divine manifestation for your glory, for your destiny to be fulfilled. God deposited a lot of things in you. He deposited great things in you. He deposited idea, power, strength to, do, to, to, to be strong and to do exploit. Idea, power, strength, knowledge, wisdom to fulfill your destiny. However, you need something to let it be escalated. You need something to let it, to, to bring it to manifestation. You need something to make it be fulfilled. Hallelujah. That's divine manifestation. Amen. Divine manifestation, divine visitation. You need a visit a visit that will manifest what God has planted in you. You need a visit that will escalate what God has deposited in you. Amen. Anna cried to God in Shiloh. By the special grace of God, through the medium of Eli, a prayer was granted and she gave birth to Samuel. Amen. Sarah, true, gave birth, gave birth at her old age. Amen. True divine visitation, divine manifestation. She, you know, Israelites cried to God when they were enslaved in Egypt. They cried to God, they wept, and God heard their prayer and delivered them, visited them through the medium, and visited them and delivered them through the medium of Moses. Amen. You need divine visitation, divine manifestation. A visit that will come into your life that will manifest what God has planted in you. 
that will make the you know the the great things that has been deposited in you come to you know bring you to limelight. That will make you know great things that God has planted in you make you to be strong and to do exploit in no area of your endeavor in order to fulfill your destiny. Amen. I take my today's reading from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter um, 6, verse 9 to 11. 2 Samuel, chapter 6, verse 9 to 11. I read, David was afraid of the Lord that day, and he said, How can the hack of the Lord come to me? Hallelujah. So David would not move the ark of the Lord with him into the city of David. But David took it aside into the house of Obed, Obed, Obed Odom, the Gittite. Hallelujah. I take it again. So David would not move the ark of the Lord with him into the city of David, but David took it aside into the house of Obed Odom, the Gittite. Hallelujah. This is the ark of God that was about to, you know, that was about to fall. That stumble that was about to fall and uh, Usa try, you know, to, 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 to support the ark in order not to be fallen. He tried to support the ark so that the ark would not be fallen. Immediately, the anger of God came upon the came upon him, the Usa, and died. Just because he touched the ark of God. And here, in this chapter nine, uh, chapter six, verse nine, David was afraid. He never wanted, the, you know, he was afraid of adopting the ark into his city. That was why he sent it here to the house of. Obey the Edom, the Gittite. You're going to see what is divine visitation, divine manifestation. The Bible says he uses the foolish things of the world to confirm the wisdom of the wise. Sometimes, why sometimes when God wants to walk, he walks in a very mysterious way. He walks in a way that people will not understand. He said, your ways are not your ways, nor are my thoughts your thoughts. For I, for the, I, the, for I am the heaven to the hell, so are my thoughts and my ways are higher than your thoughts and your ways. Amen. Now, the act of God that David was afraid of adopting in his, in his city, just because of that, he sent it away to, the, to, uh, to obey the Edom, the Gittite. You're going to see what happened. So David would not move the ark of the Lord with him into the city of David. But David took it aside into the house of Obed, Obed Edom, the Gittite. The ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obed Edom, the Gittite, three months. And the Lord blessed Obed Edom and all his household. Amen. Oh, oh my God. This is awesome. God is awesome. He is the author and finisher of our faith. This is the ark that struck somebody dead. You know, that struck somebody dead. You know, somebody died just because he was trying as much as possible not for the ark to be falling. And God struck him dead. He died immediately. David was afraid and he took it somewhere else. And this is the ark that blessed this man and his household within three months. That is why, as a child of God, you see something that is hurting people, but is blessing you. The Bible says, We shall heed the riches of the Gentiles. What is happening in your life now? Where is your life need divine visitation? 
What are you believing God for that you have been thinking or that you want to be weary? The Bible says, Any, you know, he who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. In any area, which or what area have you been fainting? Which or what area have you been relenting? Which or what area have you been weary? Divine visitation. Divine manifestation. I want to pray with you today. And I want you to receive this prayer in faith. Divine visitation. You need the visitation of God, divine visitation to, to, you know, to escalate what God has deposited in you. You need the visitation of God to, to, to expand and to escalate what God has planned for you. You need the visitation of God to, you know, to, 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 for you to be brought into limelight. You need the visitation of God for, for you to be, to be strong and to do exploit. You need the visitation of God for, for everything you lay your hand on to be prosper. You need the visitation of God for you to be moving from glory, from glory to glory, from honor to honor, from success to success. Amen. I want to pray with you today. I want you to open your heart with faith. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. And believe in his prophet and you shall prosper. I want you to have faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Have faith. Open your heart with faith. Open your heart. I want you to receive this prayer in faith. Hallelujah. In faith. Because you are going to receive divine visitation that will escalate you, that will escalate what God has deposited in you, that will bring you to limelight, that will shoot you out to the world for good. You will receive divine visitation that will, that will make you live where you are to where God says you should be. You will receive divine visitation that will make you do what God says you can do. You will receive divine visitation today that will make you do more than your expectation. That will make you do beyond any human compression. You will receive divine visitation that will bring you up beyond any human compression, beyond the power of the enemy. Divine visitation that will make you put your enemy under your feet. Divine visitation that every, every one on the face of the head will be looking at you, glorifying the name of the Lord through you. That will make people be criticizing you because I want to let you know if you are praying for, 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 you know, to, for your destiny to be fulfilled, for you to be brought to limelight, expect people to glorify the name of the Lord through you and expect people to criticize you. Amen. I just want to open your heart today. Open your heart. Before we start prayer. Because today you're going to receive divine visitation that will manifest you. That will make God what God has, you know, what God has deposited in you to be manifested. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for you as you are hearing the sound of my voice. Divine visitation that will bring you to limelight. I release it upon you now in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Divine visitation that will escalate you, that will make the, that will make Great things that God has deposited in you be escalated. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Divine visitation that will give you idea that will bring you to limelight. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Obediadom, receive divine visitation, and it was manifested. Receive the divine visitation and manifest now in the name of Jesus. In no area of your endeavor, receive 
divine visitation and manifest, be brought to limelight. Move from where you are now to greater position in the name of Jesus. Move from where you are now to greater places in the name of Jesus. March into your glory. March into your glory. March into your glory. You will not labor. You will be favored in the name of Jesus. Stand, arise. Be strong and shine and do exploit in the name of Jesus. Divine visitation that will make you manifest. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Be healed. Be set free and be elevated in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. It is well with your soul as you are hearing the sound of my voice. By the special grace of God, I believe you have been blessed. I'm waiting for your testimony in the name of Jesus. I'm waiting for your testimony. 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 I am waiting as you are hearing me, watching me, I'm waiting for your testimony. Because... You, you will be forced to give testimony. You will be forced to give testimony. The kind of blessing you have never received in your life is visiting you right now. And you are taking it right now. And you are holding it right now. And you are manifesting right now. So, you would be forced to give mother of testimony. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe you have been blessed by the special grace of God. I'd like you to share this message. Let other people be blessed as well. And if you'd like to hear more of this message, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, Regain Global TV, and on Facebook, GA David Ministry. And if you are around GTA, Greater Toronto Area, our church is located at 10288 Young Street, Richmond Hill. And we have program every Sunday, 10 a.m. And I believe... You'll be blessed as you come in the name of Jesus. By the special grace of God, till next week that we shall be meeting again if our Father tarries in coming, I pray Almighty God will bless his word the more in the midst of your heart. Stay in faith and remain blessed. My name is G.A. David from Richmond, Canada. Be blessed and remain blessed. Shalom. <music>